In this video, we're going to talk about the pencil tool inside of Adobe Illustrator. If you watch this video from beginning to end, you'll have a good understanding of the settings and functions within this tool. So before we start drawing anything, I just want to make sure that everybody is on the same page. I've brought an image here and placed it on my canvas. The way that you place an image is go to File, Place, and then you can select an image from your computer and put it on the canvas. So another thing I should mention is I've locked the image so that I can't move it around anymore. And if I start selecting maybe the lines that we're going to draw, it doesn't select the image as well. So the way that you lock an image is with the image selected, go to Object, Lock, Selection. Notice there's a shortcut here. It says Command 2. I'm on a Mac, so that's my shortcut. If I were to just hit Command 2, it locks the image, and now I can't move it around or select it. So we'll start there, and now let's start drawing lines over the image. So you'll find the pencil tool on your toolbar behind the paintbrush tool. So if you click and hold on the paintbrush tool, it will bring this drop down and you can select the pencil tool here. Also, there's a shortcut for it, which is the letter N on your keyboard. So if I just hit N, it brings up the pencil tool just like that. So by default, there are a few settings within the pencil tool that you may find problematic. For instance, if I were to draw a line and then draw another line right next to that line, it will delete the first line. It didn't do it there, but notice it deleted the second line there when I drew the third line. So the reason that's happening is, first off, I'll delete these. If you go into the pencil tool and double click, this will bring up the settings for it. This one right here, keep selected. If you uncheck that, that won't happen anymore. And I usually just leave this unchecked. So keep selected kind of will redraw lines if you draw them too close to each other. So just uncheck that box and click OK. Another setting that you're going to find useful is if you're drawing with the pencil tool and you kind of bump your hand and make a few mistakes there, it comes up real funky. So there is a setting that will allow you to smooth this out. And again, if you double click the pencil tool, you'll find it. It's called Fidelity. So right now it's set to Accurate, which will actually draw a line exactly how you move your hand on your mouse or trackpad. So if we set that to smooth, maybe even just three quarters of the way, we could go all the way smooth. Now let's see what happens if we do the same thing. So I'll start drawing, bump my hand a little bit, make some little mistakes and let go and it smooths the entire line out. So those two settings are the first place to start. If you have a uh, smooth, you don't have to go all the way smooth. You can set it right here and uncheck keep selected. And now we're ready to start. So um, bring up the properties tab. It's over here on the right. And that's going to give us our settings for the pencil tool. I've got mine set to no fill, which is the red slash line right here. And then for stroke, I have white. You can use any color you'd like. And then you can set the thickness of your line right here. Mine is set to two points. So if I draw the line and then click on it, I can actually change this by clicking the arrow buttons so I can make it really thick. I'm going to leave mine at two points for now. So let's talk about all the kinds of lines that you can draw inside of Adobe Illustrator with the pencil tool. So I'm going to hit in and that gives me the pencil tool. If I ever want to select, I can just either click on this black arrow or hit V and that will allow me to click on my lines to select them. I can hit delete to get rid of them and then I can just hit in for the pencil tool to bring it back. So I'll draw a few lines here and then we'll change them after the fact. So because I have the smoothness set on, I don't have to worry too much about the smoothness of my lines. So once we've drawn these lines and we want to change them after the fact, we have to select them. So either grab the black arrow or hit V on your keyboard, which is the shortcut, and you can click and drag a box around them to select them all, or you can simply click on one, hold shift, and then click on everything else that you want to select. So I'll select all of these lines and we're going to zoom in so we can see what we're doing. We're going to change these lines after the fact. So over here in appearance, we're going to click on the word stroke. So there's a few things we can do here. One is we can change the weight of the lines by clicking this, which you've already seen. Another thing is if you look at the ends of the lines, if we hit cap, we can round the caps. So notice when it's square on this first setting, if we move it to the middle setting, 
it rounds the caps. And then the third one is a lot like the first one, only it extends them a little bit. But I'm going to round the caps here. And if you were to draw a sharp corner, you could round the corner here with the corner setting. So another thing we can do is change the actual profile of the lines. So right now they're pretty uniform. We can go down here to profile and select something like this. So notice it starts really small, gets bigger, and then gets smaller again. Or we could go with something like this, where the lines start out pretty big and then only get smaller. So those are a few settings. Let's talk about dashed lines, dotted lines, arrows, and things like that. So to make a dash line, I'll first just draw any line. I'll do one right here at the bottom of this shoe. Oh, that was terrible. Let's try it again. We're just going to kind of go around the bottom of the shoe like that. So again, the line is already selected. If you happen to click away from it, you can just bring this black arrow. Again, I hit V for it on my keyboard. Click on the line to select it and click on the word stroke. So I'm going to bring this one up to about three points. And then now we're going to create a dashed line. To do that, you just check this box here, dashed line. And then you'll enter the amount of points you want for your dash. So if I type in 12 and hit enter, we've got 12 point dashes here. Now you can also change the gap. So if I wanted a bigger gap here, I could type something like 12, hit enter, or actually, I'm sorry, it's set to 12. So I can maybe go with 24, enter. So now there's a bigger gap in between the dashes. And if we put something like five there, it would give you a small gap. So you can also add a dash, a gap, and then a smaller dash or bigger dash right here. And hit. I'll hit three for a dash, and then we'll do another gap of 12, and then a dash of five. So you can play around with this, and you've got big dash, little dash, all sorts of patterns you can create. So another thing you can do is make this a dotted line. So let's do that with another line. I'm going to first delete all of these, and we'll just leave our dashed line like this. And let's talk about dotted lines. So I'm going to just start a new line here. So if I hit in to make sure I'm on the pencil tool again, I'm just going to make something like this. And we're going to turn this into a dotted line. So we've got to select it. So you can click on the black arrow and then click on your line, go to stroke, and we're going to leave dash line on, but we're going to change the dash to zero. And then we'll set the gap to something like six and see what that looks like. So if we go back to it, we can change this. We can add weight to it here. I will also space it out. I'm going to set this to 12. So my dash is set to zero and my gap is set to 12. And if we wanted to change the pattern there, we could also use all of these, but that is the uh, gist of a dotted line. And now let's talk about arrows. So another type of line we can draw is an arrow. If we hit in, so we're on the pencil tool again, I'll make a couple arrows right here and we'll change these. They're still set on dotted line because that's what we drew last, but I'm going to hit V and select them, or you can just grab the black arrow and select them. I'll go back to stroke and this one, I'm going to take away the dashed line and then I'm going to bring the weight down to, we'll say four, four points. And you can add arrowheads to either side to make these arrows. So if I grab an arrow here and hit this, it adds it right here. Now I want them on the other side. So I'll set this to none and then I'll go to this side and select an arrow. So notice the arrowheads are extremely large. We can bring them down right here on scale. So if I set this to 50%, that's what it gives us. And then again, you can change the weight of these like this. And if the arrowheads get too big, just bring the percentage of the scale down. So we'll say 35, something like that. And that is arrows. Now I'm going to just bring those down back to where they were, maybe about right there. We'll set this to 45. So that's fine. So that is the basics of the pencil tool inside of Adobe Illustrator. So we talked about the settings over here, which you find by double clicking on the tool. And we talked about all of the stroke settings you could do here. And of course you can change the color right here. 
and you could also change the opacity. So if we wanted to select these, we could go over here to opacity, type in 50%, and it dims the line down. But with this um, red background, I think that full 100% opacity looks good, but that is how you use the pencil tool inside of Adobe Illustrator. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.